the debate in, about poverty in this country has been stuck in a really bad paradigm for a long, long time. And the paradigm is conservatives say personal responsibility, family formation. The centrists and many liberals say, well, we just need to do more government programs, which I believe in, by the way. And Elise was great in emphasizing the importance of tax and transfer. But what's been lost is the share of the country's wealth and growth and productivity going to workers as a dimension of the poverty issue in the country. So I actually think the country recognizes the centrality of the wage question to inequality and to poverty uh, in a way more than the conventional wisdom in Washington does. And so what I think you saw with the spark that was lit by the fast food workers who took enormous risks and have exhibited enormous courage. The reason for the resonance of that demand for 15 is obviously that it will make a huge difference in people's lives, but also I think it spoke to this deep truth in Elisa's paper. People understand that the underlying cause here has to do with the distribution, a set of policies that have resulted in in the distribution of the labor market of these gains in a totally unfair way and that we can choose to do it differently. So whether it's fast food workers or Walmart workers or minimum wage campaigns or paid sick day campaigns or efforts around scheduling, the huge momentum in the country I really think uh, speaks to, the, to this analysis and I'm hopeful that this analysis can help us break through to the kind of bold solutions that the country needs and uh, really help lay an intellectual foundation for a different way at coming at this profound moral crisis of, of poverty we have in the country.